Like it or not, vertical video is here to stay, at least for the time being. So if you're into creating YouTube shorts, maybe TikTok videos, reels, or anything on Instagram, Facebook, and you're using vertical video, we now have some presets here in DaVinci Resolve that'll help us get started on the right foot real quick and easy. I'm also gonna show you how to go from a horizontal video like we have here to a vertical video, a vertical timeline, real quick and easy. It's really like one click option here that we can do it. Makes it fast, saves time in your workflow. Then once we've got our vertical format set up here in DaVinci Resolve, we've got our video in there. I'm gonna show you how you can jump onto Motion Array, the sponsor of today's video, and grab some of their assets and really just sweeten up your video. And this is gonna work whether you've got vertical video, horizontal video, doesn't matter, but it's gonna bring interest to your videos and make people wanna watch it a little bit more. So with that said, let's jump into Resolve and check it out. Oh, by the way, thanks to Artlist, whew, for sending out some merch for me and uh, appreciate it, it's a great sweatshirt. And if you didn't know, Artlist actually owns Motion Array, so. Yeah, that's where that comes from. All right, guys, let's jump into Resolve. So we're in DaVinci Resolve here. All I did was come here to New Project, create a new project, and name it. That's all I did, and this is what we start with. Now, if you want to work with vertical video, we can set it up right from the beginning here really quick and easy. So come on down to your gear icon right here, your project settings, and that's going to open up this window right here. Under Master Settings, we've got our Timeline Resolution, and right now I'm 1920 by 1080. But if I want it vertical, all I have to do is, boom, hit that, use vertical resolution, and it's gonna flip it for me. Quick, easy, now your project is set up to do vertical video in 1080 by 1920. You can also change that, you wanna do Ultra HD, vertical format, boom, there you go. All you have to do is check that option. You don't have to punch in and key and switch things around. So that is super fast. I mean, you're set up, you're good to go. If you wanna save this as a default setting because maybe you only do vertical video, right? You wanna save that as your default setting. Once you have it set in the project settings here, come on to the three little dots, click on those. In the three little dots here, come down to the bottom, you have current settings as default preset. So whatever you set up here, that is gonna be your default settings every time you start a new project here in DaVinci Resolve. So if you only do vertical video, boom, there you go. You're gonna start a new project. It's gonna open up with everything you need. You're good to go. And by the way, you can also save tons of other presets here. These are other ones that I created that I actually sell in my store if you're interested in any of those. So once I hit save, my project is set up for vertical video. So if I just create a timeline, new timeline, and I'm gonna say use the project settings, create, Boom, there is my vertical video for our timeline. Real quick and easy, go ahead, you're ready to go and start editing your video now. Now let's say you've got a horizontal video that you wanna repurpose for a vertical video. YouTube short, let's say. Here's how you can quickly do it. Right now I'm in the edit tab, I've got my video in here. It's about a minute long and I wanna change it to vertical. So I'm actually gonna jump into the cut tab. I know you're like, Jay, you never work in the cut tab. This is one case where it's quicker to jump to the cut tab. So click on the cut tab over here. And now once you're in the cut tab, you wanna come up to the top and click on this little drop down right here. And we can come down and go portrait 1080 by 1920. Next, you wanna come down, go to smart reframe. And we're just gonna go ahead and hit reframe. And now this should take care of reframing our video for us. But if you notice when you hit the reframe, it doesn't do a good job of selecting the right object. In this case, everything's static, so it's no big deal. But if your subject is moving, you can always change this to reference point. Click on the little reference point box there and you can set it to be wherever you want in your image. So if I just go like that, reframe, then DaVinci Resolve is gonna reanalyze and you should be good to go, hopefully. And if for some reason the smart reframe doesn't work for you, you can always just come on up to your zoom tools here in the inspector, zoom it in, boom, and there you go. And make adjustments right there. You can set your video however you want. And in this case, for my static video, this might work better than the smart reframe. So now that we've got our vertical video set up, I'm gonna jump onto Motion Array and we're gonna go grab some assets that are gonna make our video better. So I'm gonna take a look for some music, maybe some overlays. I use a lot of overlays. They've got a ton of great stuff here uh, on Motion Array. So let's just jump in there and see what we can find. On their website here, first thing I'm gonna do, I wanna find some audio. So I'm gonna go to audio and royalty-free music because I wanna find a good track to put down underneath this short. So I'm gonna look through and find something that I like here. When I'm looking at the music, we've got options here. I want something that's kind of inspirational, uh, maybe something kind of upbeat. So I'm gonna say pop too, and we're gonna see what we can find in those categories. And then when we find something that we like, I like this one, Evening on the Coast. We're gonna give that a try. I like to download a couple different things to try, especially when it comes to music, because sometimes certain things fit with your videos better than others. So I'm just gonna hit the download guy right here. It's gonna download it, and then we'll throw it into our video in a minute. All right, so another one I found here, Move It. I like that one, that sounds pretty good. So I'm gonna download those two songs. Now let's move on to some overlays and things we can put on top of the video just to make it look a little bit better. 
So if I come up to videos here and I go to motion graphics, I use the motion graphics from here all the time in tons of my videos. They've got so much good stuff in here. So I'm just gonna browse through and see what I can find that might add a little something to my video. So I can even sort by overlays over here on the left-hand side, and then I'm gonna find some things that I like. We're gonna go ahead and download them. For example, here's one I think is pretty cool, light trail and particles graphic intro. I don't know, it just looks kind of cool. I might be able to use that. So I'm gonna go ahead and click download. That's gonna download it for me. Another one that might be kind of cool here, scrolling digital numbers overlay. That could be kind of cool. Might throw that in there. And again, with the overlays, I like to download a bunch of different things so I can try different things and see what works out best in my video. So one thing I'm thinking that might be kind of cool is if I have a little countdown, right? As I get into the mixing part, right? So I'm gonna come up to the top of my uh, screen here. You've got search and I'm gonna search for a countdown. And we've got a bunch of different kinds of countdowns. You got cool little balloon things. You got different numbers. I've used a bunch of these before in uh, in my videos. So I'm just gonna find one that I think is cool. And I think we're gonna go with it. We might have like a three, two, one countdown. Could be kind of cool. So something like this is kind of cool. Dynamic countdown overlay. I'm gonna go ahead and download that. Like I said, I might grab one or two, give them a try. And here's another one that looks kind of cool. New year countdown. Cause it looks like it's got a little snow in there. Christmas time, you know, so I'm gonna download that one. Try that too. Now the other thing I might want to take a look for is some sound effects, right? Cause I did have a transition in there or two. So I'm gonna look for like a, like a whoosh kind of sound. So if I come up to audio, I'm gonna come on over to sound effects and I'm just gonna search for a whoosh. So I'm just gonna come to search and whoosh. And then I could just check them out and see which ones I like. Oh, Christmas magic. Hmm, how about that? There we go, Christmas bells transition. Sounds kind of cool. We're gonna download that. Again, I always like to get a few of them because you never know what's gonna work best for your video. So ninja whoosh is here. That's kind of like more of a typical whoosh sound. So I think I'm gonna download that. We could try that too. So once I've got the assets that I wanna use in my video, I'm gonna jump back into Resolve. I'm gonna bring those assets in and then I'm gonna show you how I would use them. So what I like to do a lot of times is just make a separate folder here called Motion Array where I can put all my assets into that folder so that way I can try different things out and see how they work. So in this case, I want to start with my music track. So I'm going to come down, I'm going to add a new music track. I'm going to call this Music. I'm going to change my view here. And the music track I want to try first is this guy right here. I'm going to drag it down drop it in. Now when I zoom in here, we can see that the music starts just after my video. So I actually want to bump my video down a little bit. Just gonna select it there. And I'm gonna move my video down so I come in after where the music starts. And here's what that looks like. I love me some good audio, but you might not. And we need to adjust our levels a little bit. We're gonna drop that down. I'm gonna watch my meters and make sure my music is eh, somewhere in that minus 25 dB range. A little more, a little less. We'll see what sounds good. I love me some good audio, but you might not know that I got my start working with audio by mixing services for my church. And that included mixing for our worship band that plays live every Sunday. All right, so I think that's pretty good there. I'm gonna work with my audio a little bit later. So now let's add in some of our assets here. First, I wanna add in my little countdown. So I've got my countdown right here and I would just wanna go like a three, two, one, right? A quick three, two, one. So I'm gonna start just before the three here, bump ahead a little. I'm gonna set an in point and we'll leave the out point and I'm just gonna drag this down into my timeline. So my asset here, I do wanna speed it up a little bit. So the numbers come on quicker. So I'm gonna use my read time controls, speed this guy up. Let's make it like, I don't know, two seconds long. Let's shrink that down, turn off my read time controls, and here's what that looks like. Okay, but you're like, hey, it's not big enough. No problem, we'll just scale this guy up. So if I select my clip, I'm gonna scale it up, and hopefully our numbers will fit right in the screen there. And here we go, that's what that looks like. Or check it out. And now that I'm looking at my transitions, I think I might like actually to use the other countdown which has a little bit of snow in it, right? Because I can use those Christmas transitions with that little bit of snow, and I think it'll go together pretty nice. So I'm just gonna come in, I'm gonna move this guy over that I already worked with, and I'm gonna come and grab my three, two, and one numbers here so I can do a little quick little countdown. So I'm gonna go three, two, one, and let's see how that looks. All right, so they are a little small, but what I'm gonna do is actually select all of them. Right click, compound, clip, new compound, clip, I'm gonna speed them up a little bit, move it over a little bit, and then we're gonna zoom it in just like we did with the previous clip. So it fills the screen and we have a nice little countdown. I'm gonna drag in the sound effect that I like, which is the Christmas sound. Here we go. And this is what this is sounding like so far. Or check it out. All right, so there we go. That's kind of cool. I'm liking that. So we're going to go with that. Now, the next asset that I got is this light particle right here, which is kind of cool. It just kind of flows onto the screen, right? Kind of does a cool thing. I kind of like that. I don't know why. I just think it's kind of cool. Adds a little visual interest, right? So what I can do is I can just drag it down into my timeline. I'm going to put it on top of my time-lapse clip. 
because I think maybe we could show it there. And I'm going to click on it. And now what I'm going to do is actually rotate this vertically. So rotate it 90 degrees. And then I'm just going to scale it up so it fits on the screen. Now, if I want to be able to see through this, I can select it and I'm going to come over to the composite in my inspector here change my blend mode to add, and now the black background will appear see-through, you won't see it, and it'll just be the light leaks on the screen there, which might look kinda cool. So let's see, how does that look? Here's what it looks like. Board, check it out. All right, so that's kinda cool, but maybe it's a little too slow, right? So I'm gonna speed that one up too. Whoop, drag this guy up, I don't know, just about, let's say 200%, see how that looks, and uh, just give it another try here. Check it out. All right, pretty cool. So I wanted to start even just a little before the clip there. And this is how I go through and add things into the video. You can see how easy it is to jump on Motion Array, find some cool things or some things that enhance your video so that maybe you can show something instead of talking about it or just maybe cool graphics. Cause let's be honest, you're not gonna spend the extra time to create these things from scratch. It just takes too long when you're trying to crank out videos, especially as a YouTuber or anything really. You don't wanna waste your time creating things if they're already made. You can use a service like Motion Array, grab those awesome assets. I've been doing it for a long time. Like I said, I use them in all my videos pretty much. And they really just help elevate your videos and take it to that next level. Creating vertical videos never been easier here in DaVinci Resolve. You wanna make it look even better, more professional, grab people's attention a little bit more. Head over to Motion Array, check out some of their assets. I use them in every video, almost every video that I do. I think like every video I've grabbed assets from Motion Array, whether it's music, sound effects, videos, photos, overlays, you name it, they've got pretty much everything you need. It's like a one-stop shop for anything that you might want to put in your video just to make it more interesting, bring your quality level up, and make people want to watch your videos a little bit more. So with that said, thank you so much Motion Array for sponsoring today's video. Love you guys, appreciate it. And uh, if you guys want to check it out, link in the description below. You can save 50 bucks, go pick up a, a yearly subscription there and uh, I don't think you'll regret it. It's fantastic. I love them, been using them a long time. And with that said, guys, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Peace. I think I should make my own sound effects pack. Maybe. I should do that. I should. All right. Hey, Gem Gem. You haven't been in a video in a while. You want to be in the video? Yeah. Up, 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 up. Come on. Rah. Oh, you're getting so big. Look, there she is. Look at this dog. Look at this dog. There's my dog. There's my dog. Gem, say hi to the whole world. The whole world. Say hi to Gem. Yeah. You got anything to say? Huh. They can't see your face, kid. Yeah. So she's, she's pretty good. Pretty big. 30. Four, 33 pounds, 32 pounds, 32 pounds, 32 and a half. We'll go 32 and a half, but yeah, she's a good pup. Been, been, uh, been real good, been real good. So anyway, all right, Jim, say bye to the people. We're going to go finish the video and go edit. Give a little wave. All right. Okay, down you go. Back to work.